Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We are uh, uh, okay. There we go. Yay. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. So uh, Monday, coming up Monday, we want to do a webinar at 12 noon, trying to get back on track with um, our uh, discussion on, it's really more of a recap, difference between cracking Coinbase and uh, Binance and the other one to add there is really Binance U US. Um, so today again is Saturday, October 26th. So that means I'm gonna have a webinar come Saturday, October 28th, 12 noon p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What we're going to talk about is really the difference between Kraken, Coinbase, and Binance. Now, in a nutshell, Coinbase lately has increased their commission fees to half a percent. Um, many people are not too happy about that, so uh, they're looking for alternatives. Uh, I would have suggested Kraken as an option but lately, and I think it's been going on for quite a while, just at the time I just started seeing it, was some of the um, cracks, I guess you could call it, that's why it's called racking, in the technology uh, where things break when you put orders out and they're not accepted or for whatever reason. Um, I don't know, I don't really care um, because that's gonna have a huge impact on your, your automated trading. So if you're gonna trade manual, uh, you may want to do Kraken, they, the, their crypt watch, crypto watch is an amazing platform, but um, the better one to be on is Binance and then Binance US, Binance Europe, which I can give you up to dates on. I've gotten, I've been posting a lot of stuff via social media and the blog, but in a nutshell, uh, what we've got is Binance has been really been innovating over the last pretty well in the, in the summer. And what they've done is they've added a futures, derivatives, uh, they're getting into borrowing now. Um, they've added the, the um, fiat currency with Binance US, Binance Jersey, you can trade in through CCXT. Uh, that's, that's what I'm doing with the US for the US uh, fiat currency. I'm just testing that right now. Uh, which I put in my previous video. Um, that looks like there's some potential there uh, because you got some really good performing coins like BNB and uh, Chainlink, which I think would outperform what Kraken gives you. I've written a Coinbase bot and I just found those bots were not performing anywhere close to Kraken, but yet when you move from Kraken to, to Binance US, I find there's just better opportunities from what I'm seeing so far. So I'll turn that on uh, with live um, money in the next, probably next week. Uh, so I wanna talk about all that stuff. Any other things you may have discovered? I think those are important topics. The nice thing is with the uh, Python course that I've got here, um, specifically this one for Python, the way it's been architected, uh, you know, when you're using a really good uh, wrapper like CCXT to all the crypto exchanges out there, it did not take me very long. It may have taken me two hours to change all the connectivity from Kraken to Binance US, and it uh, worked really good. So this whole um, framework seems to work really good in a number of things to swap out your crypto exchanges uh, and also, as you've heard me say, to also uh, develop really, really good, powerful uh, bots with technical analysis, thanks to TA Lib um, and the charting and all that, plus with the Redis and all that and, and how I architect it. Also, I've been, um, for those that may not know, uh, over the last two weeks, I've been adding a lot of new source code, uh, also added in custom bots and techniques that have been helping me immensely um, in the elite. So that's in there as well. Uh, and again, I've mentioned that that sale uh, for the three year will be reduced from three year to two year term, um, probably in the next 
week or so. Um, we have a working bot that's working uh, roughly at about um, 78 percent, uh, about between 70, low 70s to as high as 77 percent win ratio, which is really good. I'll be working on to how to uh, have the bot not run 24 hours, but at least be able to set a set of goals for each trading session that I'm dividing up uh, to retain maybe a two, three, four percent return, shut the thing off, and then start up on the next trading session. So I have source code and uh, detailed videos on that because um, it's great to have winning bots, but what do you define a winning bot based upon a winning ratio or uh, profit? Now, the ultimate, at the end of the day, you, you want to make profit. So we can talk about that as well on Monday. Uh, those are really important concepts, but really, um, I think the exchange can make or break you as well. Uh, and, and, and just generally Forex futures and all those kind of asset classes and the very low, low, pretty well neg negligible commission fees that you get on Binance that I've been testing. Just so you know, I'll be, hopefully, I'm, I'm just biting at the chomp now that we've had this sudden big rise with Bitcoin, I'll be transferring some of the proceeds of that into the new uh, uh, account over at Binance US. So I'll start trading that as well. Um, so I can talk about all that in detail on Monday as well. Just so you know, there will be no pre-recording uh, for it. Uh, I don't do those. I don't find those are very helpful. Um, so uh, helpful for those that think that they can just miss out because there can be some good juicy info in there and, and that sort of info I want to provide for my elite members because they're paying for that. So uh, that's where it's at. But anybody's invited, just keep your eyes out on the blog uh, or the Facebook or uh, the the emails. If you join the uh, uh, mailing list, you can do that by coming to the quantlabs.net slash book. Sign up, you'll get automatically set up right away on automatically with the um, email list. So I'll put this video out again on Saturday. Hopefully you'll catch that before when it goes out. If not, just go over the quant lab slash blog and look for the actual login IDs for Monday. If you are interested in, in that, because um, I'm starting to see some really powerful uh, profiting techniques to retain profit. I mean, as I said, it's one thing to have a winning bot at 76%. Uh, or whatever it is in the 70s, but if it's still losing money, there's reasons why. So uh, I'll talk about those if need be and, and all the different exchanges and the experiences I've been having with it. Hopefully, that'll help you out. We shall talk to you later. Have a good day.